Hey guys, it's been a while since I've posted anything on my acoustic channel. I thought I'd start back with a lesson uh, for a song that uh, I really love called Ure by Andy McKee. We're going to tune our guitar to standard tuning. So everything uh, one through strings one through four, they're just standard. But we're going to go, the A string's going to go down to G. The E string will go down all the way down to C. Okay, so take some time to do that, and then we're going to get started. Now, Andy does this alternating bass line. It's a Travis picking bass line. If you don't know who Merle Travis was, go look him up. Awesome. So uh, this melody is based off of a D sus2. Okay, if you don't know what a D sus2 is, it's just a D with an open E string, open string one. So what we're going to do is play the intro. Now, Andy mutes it. We're not going to do that right now. We're just going to go back and forth like this. And then he plucks string three. So it's five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four. He does it differently if it's a live performance or the, the record or whatever. So, um, so you can do that as many times as you want. Now what I do is I assign and this is the way I'm going to teach this song, is I'm going to assign the index, middle, and ring to three strings. So the index is assigned to string three, middle is assigned to string two, the uh, first string is assigned to the ring finger, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So we're gonna go back and forth with the thumb. Once he's gone from this intro, he starts with string five by itself, then he's going to play string four and string two together. And then he's going to come up with the index and hit string three. Do that a few times. Again. After that he's going to add another thumb bass note in there on string five. Then he's going to play an open string one, which that E is left open. There, you can see that. And then he's gonna come back and hit string four. Okay, and then he's going to hit string three with the index. Now, if this is going too fast, many of you probably know this, but go ahead and hit the speed function. It's that little cog looking wheel down below. If you're on a computer, if you're on uh, iOS, uh, forget about it. It's not going to have that function, but I would highly suggest doing this on a computer so that you can slow it down if you want to, or speed it up if you want to. So let's try that again, starting with one, and then he's going to go over to strings four and two. Let's add the index. He's going to go back to string five. Then he's going to go up to string one. Again, grabbing that with the ring finger. And then he's going to go to string four. So this is by itself. These two together. Index. Thumb ring, and then thumb. Okay, then string three. Once more. And make sure you're not pulling on the strings. It's a nice brushing, sort of squeezing motion. Relax that arm. Okay, this is these two are open. Okay, and we're going to fret this F sharp over here on the E string. And that's going to be strings five and one together. Then open string two. And 
then he's going to have uh, strings five and one. And we're back to string two. And then over to string four. And then back to string two. But I'm back to my D sus two position. So from the beginning. Okay, we're ending with that D note on string two. Try that again all together, slow. Once more. Then he's going to start the whole thing over again, part of the melody. Now you saw that the first little uh, first little melody we bring bring that back in again. Okay, so he repeats it. So he goes from here. And he's gonna go to that. Now let's let me show you how that goes. Just like the first time through, this and then these two together, then this one by itself, the index. And then he's going to come over here to this G on the on the E string. Okay, so it's five and two, to, five and one together. And then he's going to go down here to uh, to the F sharp. But see how my thumb is alternating on bass lines. So I'm going from string five, four, back to string five and it opens string one. And then I'm going to hit string four by itself. And then I'm going to play string two on this D note, third fret. There we go. Okay. Now let me put that together. Okay. Four little parts basically. Then he starts it over again. Okay, I'm gonna put the uh, first four little parts and then I'm gonna go into this again. There you go. Okay, we've got this other part. This is a little bit tricky, especially at speed. Okay, so that's five and one, four and one, five and one. Then over here with middle finger, it's very important that you do this, and, and it's a hammer on when we're playing string five and then string two. So we're hammering on from fret three up to five on string two, and then coming over here and getting string one fret two, and then coming back with the middle finger and grabbing uh, string two fret three. And then string five by itself. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. So, to to summarize here, we have this. And then the second part. Third 
third part, fourth part, first part again, second part, Okay, so what I'm going to do is divide all eight parts out so you can practice all eight parts and split them up. First part. Second part. Third part. Fourth part. Fifth part. Sixth part. Seventh part. Eighth part. Okay? All eight of those little parts, you're going to work that up to speed and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do all of the parts, the chorus, whatever. He calls that the verse of his song. It's such a great song. Uh, work on it. Go slowly. Practice with the metronome. And I'll see you next time.